Hello everyone, it's Jin Teacher again from Reading Town. I hope you've been doing well. Uh, let's look at our article for today. It says the moon, our companion. So we know what the moon is. We can see in the picture, we see it at night uh, because it shines, it reflects the sun. And our companion, companion is someone or something that we spend a lot of time together with. You may even travel together with a companion. A lot of people, uh, their husband or their wives, uh, their children or their best friends or even their pets can be considered as companion because you spend a lot of time together. So our moon is our companion. So let's find out more about what that is. So it says, if you look up into the night sky, what is particularly large, round, and white? Particularly means especially. So what is especially large, round, and white? That would be our moon, of course. So far, it's the only other planetary object that mankind has walked on. So planetary is like a planet. A planet is a large object that rotates or that revolves around the sun, that orbits the sun. Um, so moon is the only planetary object or planet-like place that humans have walked on. So you think we've been to Mars, but we've, we've been there, we've sent robots, but we've never walked on it. A human hasn't. But the moon, we were able to walk on the moon. So it says the moon revolves around planet Earth. Revolves means go around. Okay, so it revolves around planet Earth. Along with the position of our sun, the moon's shape changes throughout each month. So it means the moon doesn't change its shape, but the shape that we see as the sun reflects on it, that changes. So it could be a full moon, a half moon, and so forth. Also, the moon's gravity pulls on the earth. So gravity means the force that's invisible that pulls us to the ground. So if I drop my pencil or drop my phone, it falls to the ground because of gravity. It's that force that pulls it, uh, pulls us to the middle of the earth. So the moon's gravity also pulls on the earth. This creates waves and tides we see in the ocean. It also affects the seasons and weather patterns. So we thought that the moon was just there, uh, rotating or revolving around earth, and it just gives us light in the night, and we thought that that's what it was, but there's more to the moon. Not only does it uh, change its shape, but it also uh, increases our gravity towards the earth, and it also creates waves and tides. So waves are how the water moves in the ocean, and tides are whether they come out very far or whether they go in uh, back into the ocean. So it affects a lot of that as well as the seasons. So the seasons, such as winter and summer, are affected greatly by the moon. So the moon probably is what uh, one of the reasons why we get so much snow or why we get so much heat. Um, so that is something very interesting about our companion who's always traveling with us, the moon. So let's look at our comprehension question. So like I said earlier, we have walked on the moon, but we have not walked on any of the other planets. But I believe that astronauts are working on uh, a lot of explorations to other planets. So hopefully one day, just like we did on the moon, we can walk on other planets uh, like Mars. Okay, so let's look at our comprehension questions for today. So it says, fill in the blanks after you've read the article. There's our companion, the moon, shining at night. That's one of the shapes that the moon can take, and that looks like a full moon. Uh, the moon is large, round, and, so we know that these are all adjectives. It's describing the main subject, which is the moon, the noun. So large, round, and, how do we discover, uh, describe it? It's also white. Right? So it has this white color uh, because it's very rocky. Uh, and not only that, the sun is shining on it, so it also uh, appears to be even whiter. The moon is the only other something object that people have walked on. So what kind of object is it? So it, uh, it orbits the sun, it goes around the sun, and we call that a planet. So it's the other planetary object that people have walked on. And the last question, the moon, something around planet Earth. So what does the moon do? Uh, does it spin around planet Earth? Uh, so what's another word for spin or goes around? We said it revolves. Revolves means go around uh, the planet Earth. So the moon revolves around planet Earth and Earth revolves or orbits around the sun. Okay, so let's look at the colored words and choose the correct one to finish our sentences. So let's look at A. The moon's shape changes before each month 
throughout each month or until each month. So let's eliminate uh, the strange answer first. Until each month. That means waiting for each month. That doesn't make sense. Before each month, the moon changes shape. Mm, not quite. So we know that in the middle, right, or all throughout each month is the correct answer. Let's look at B. The moon's gravity pull on the earth, pulls on the earth, or pulling on the earth. So if you look at the tense, we know that it's an action that continues to happen. So the moon's gravity pulls on the earth. And we said gravity is the invisible force that brings us down back to earth. And let's look at the last question. It affects all seasons and weather patterns, the seasons and weather, weather patterns or of seasons and weather patterns. Well, we know it's not of because there's two seasons and weather patterns of that sounds very strange. So we know that it affects. That's right. We, it affects the seasons as well as weather patterns. So what we learned from today, the moon, we see it, it changes shapes. Uh, it doesn't just give us light at night, but it also affects the ocean as well as our weather, uh, as well as the seasons. And as you look up, remember the word that we learned today, our companion. It's always next to us. It's always with us. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed today's lesson and I will see you again next time. Goodbye, everyone.